Hello everyone, and welcome to another Clash of Clans video. Today, it is a very exciting day in Clash of Clans. It is the March CWL Spin Day. So, if you haven't spun already, then go ahead and do so. Sign-up's open for another day and a half-ish. Yeah, day and a half-ish. So, let's get started with a base. So, here's a base that I've been using for a little while in the mobile open. Uh, the Tunnel 13... North American Cup. And it's a base that I've been using for a while. And now I'm going to share it with you guys. So here's the base. The core of the idea of it is that the town hall is pretty awkward to get to. So you have this, all this, uh, that's not what I meant to do. So you have this area here that's just dead zone. So then we don't have any defenses in that area, and we can't. We don't even have um, non-defense targeting buildings there, so no troops can actually get there without entering in this side or this side from the back side of the town hall. So that makes it a little awkward for attacks in which you have to get the town hall. You have to get the two star because you, there's no one attacking after you. So a lot of entries that I usually see with this base are things like a jump spell here and a quad quake here and yeti smash down the middle. So what I've done to prevent that from actually working is a lot of seeking air mines in the middle of the base. So right here, 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 and here. They are all five of them in the middle of the base, and then two of them over here, preventing a different type of attack. So you have five of them over by the where the um, Yeti Smash would come from, and then two of them where a uh, a really good Queen Charge would come from. So speaking of that really good Queen Charge, this compartment right here is the highest value Queen Charge compartment in the entire base. So from that compartment, you should you should be able to get a scatter shot, eagle, two sweepers, another scatter shot, and of course the inferno tower that's inside of the compartment itself. So a couple of entry points into that compartment are here by the by the small bombs, which makes it harder to actually get the queen charge in there uh, to get the wall breaks in there. But after you're in there. And your queen's like around where the inferno tower is. She's getting hit by scatter shot, scatter shot, queen, and CC. Uh, CC, by the way, is three ice golems or hound and witch, uh, whichever you prefer. It's not really a huge difference between them, but ice golem, the three ice golems is better for spam attacks. So if we have like a yeti smash coming in from any angle, then it'll be stopped for a lot longer. Than uh than the um than the hound would stop it. So let's clear all annotations again. And then the queen charge that I would be looking at is uh queen coming from over here into the base, take out the single inferno. Take out the single inferno, walk over here, and jump spell over the wizard tower. And then... And that would get her over to the middle compartment, where she could get a bunch of defenses there. But even after that's all done, if you're able to do that correctly, which it's not entirely clear that it would be easy to do, there's two black mines in the middle there that should be able to take your healers unless you get... A uh, really good uh, Coco Loon pull. And even then, you're stuck in the middle of the base with two Expos, uh, three Expos attacking you, attacking your Queen. With three Expos attacking your Queen at the same time as the CC is pulled out. So that's not entirely easy to, to deal with either. And on top of that, the town hall is still awkward to get to. So that's yet another thing that's a little bit 
dangerous about doing that attack. So yeah, that is the base. And the link is obviously in the description below. So if you want to use it for the upcoming CWL, then there you go. Easy as just hitting the link and going to your Clash of Clans account, then you just copy it down into the Warbase slot. And make sure it's your active Warbase, and then you're good to go. For the rest of the video, I want to go over one of my War attacks, and then maybe do a couple of Legend League attacks. So it's uh, the same army as what I'm currently using for Legend League. It's the Queen Walk, Lalo, uh, with the Yeti Blend. So we're going to start off with the Queen at 12 o'clock. She's going to make her way down to the Eagle Artillery, and then eventually to the enemy Queen. So, slowing down the video. Two layers of wall break already happened. There's the third layer to get into the Eagle compartment. And the fourth layer gets to the uh, Warden, although both of those layers weren't really necessary. Because the Queen walks out. <laughs> So the queen walks out, and now at this point I drop the king for the tanking for the uh, cannon in the Urch Tower, and then I'm going to drop a couple of cleanup troops on the right side, a wizard and a baby dragon, in order to speed up that process and keep the king on the inside of the base, or on the inside track by the storages. So there we go. Uh... Queen is getting into the enemy queen eventually. There we go. And now the Lalo starts from the left side. So on the left side, just spamming all the loons in at once on the uh, on the three different uh, defenses, and also the blimp is also on that side. So here we go. And the blimp gets the town hall, but a bunch of loons get to the town hall uh, before the town hall goes down. So a lot of the loons disappear, and we're basically left with the royal champion, the queen, and just all the heroes and a couple of healers is all that we have left. But that's going to be enough for this base. So yeah, I hope you enjoy the base. I hope you learned something. I've been Ray's Gaming, and I'm out.